We all know Minecraft, the best-selling video game in history and a game that defined so many people's childhoods. But one thing it's also very well known for is its simplistic graphics, with it being made out of blocks with pixelated textures. And even though the base game can have its moments, I want to take it to the extreme and see how beautiful can I make Minecraft using mostly shaders and resource packs. And if you don't know what shaders or texture packs are for some reason, shader packs are essentially mods that change the graphic settings of your Minecraft world. Oftentimes, shaders are used to give the world a more realistic feel with enhanced lighting and sunlight. And resource packs are used to modify the design of any block and object in Minecraft. So you can make a dirt block a photo of your face. And with these two modding tools, let's see what we can do to this simple little game. And also, I'll only be making the overworld pretty. I won't bother with the nether or end since you spend more of your time in the overworld and there's way more to look at and see more change. So first, we're going to be using shaders. Regular Minecraft is kind of boring, but with just the most simple shader pack, a lot can change, and there's a lot of shader packs. Changing the sunlight, the shadows, and even how water looks, which is my favorite since I think it just looks so good, and good water graphics in games is something I always like. So we can have basic shaders, which already changed a lot. There's a lot of variations to shaders, and most of them look the same, but there's this one called Kappa, and this one stands out to me. This is regular Minecraft, and this is it with the Kappa shaders. Already with just one shader pack, this looks amazing. This changes the game so much and gives it so much more life. This one shader pack is the reason I wanted to make this video. And then using a resource pack, we can do even more. But before we check out more shader packs, maybe the goal of this game looking better is adding nostalgia to it. So without anything added, all we have to do is load up an old version of the game and take it all in. I honestly really like the way the game looks here. It's so bad it's good and also just brings back a lot of memories, but as nostalgic as this is, we can do better with actually using shaders and other things. So now let's go more in depth with shader packs. So you have a lot of the same shaders, just with different lighting, water, and other things, you know, all that. There is ones that change very small things, like maybe you want your game to look like it's on the PS1, or a Game Boy, or maybe a CRT. With others like horror packs, you can mess around with to make the game feel very eerie, or even a shader that makes the game look like body cam footage. This shader is actually sick. And now we can dive into resource packs. Now there's a ton of resource packs and I'd be here all day. So I'm only gonna be showing a few I've found and others which enhance the shaders. So with this body cam shader, along with the pixel 1.21 resource pack, it adds this gritty texture to the blocks, just selling the look even more. In fact, take a look at this footage I got of me walking through a cave with both of these on. Pretty sick, huh? There's also a texture pack called Deep Fried, which... Yeah, it, it, it's great. It's just great. And one called Pixel Blocks, which makes all the block textures be made out of other blocks and sprites. Which kind of messes with your mind since everything from a distance looks normal, but once you get up close, you can see all the blocks used to make this texture. It's kind of crazy to see a Minecraft block made out of more Minecraft blocks. It's like Inception. And other texture packs trying to make this game look not even like Minecraft anymore, but those are for later. And speaking of combining shaders and textures, there's a mod pack which makes the game look like the trailers, and holy, this mod pack is so pretty. The shots you can get with this are sick.
this modpack can be downloaded on CurseForge. In fact, everything you see today I use CurseForge with, since it's just simple and straightforward. But this pack really makes the game shine. It feels so alive and the game just really looks beautiful. And with that, I think I can change the game a lot. So here's two resource packs that will do just that. The Mind Bricks and Minifigure Players resource packs. With this, it makes the entire game look built out of Lego, which makes sense because, you know, Minecraft is basically like Lego and there's official Minecraft Lego sets that have been running since 2012. Wow. 12 years. I, rem I remember when these were released. I, th I think I might be getting old. But the whole world now looking like Lego, it's so sick. It, it even sounds like Lego. And the other resource pack makes your skin into a Lego minifigure with a Lego hand and minifigure movement. It's honestly sick and really ties it all together and makes a very unique visual experience for Minecraft. But one thing is the colors and everything looks really flat and dull. So we need a shader pack. And one thing Lego is, is it's colorful. And that last mod pack that makes the game look like a trailer, that was pretty colorful. Because you know, the trailers are colorful. So I combined the two and got this. This is actually such a fun way to play Minecraft. It looks sick, feels sick, and just makes the game look so unique. Like it's a whole new game entirely. And there's other things we can do, but now I think it's time to make the game look as realistic as we can. Starting with these shaders. There's a lot of shaders you can add like we've seen, but my favorite for what we're doing is this shader pack called Nostalgia Shaders. And also another one called Seos Shaders. These shaders work with a lot of things, but they really work well with these resource packs I'll be using. Now there's two resource packs I'll be using. The first one is called Legendary RT Java Texture Packs. This is a realistic RTX texture pack that for the most part is actually free. There is paid versions with there being four download texture packs. The main one, which is the base pack, which works for the main box of Minecraft. And the resolution goes from 128 all the way to 1024, which is show how much of a big jump that is in image quality. Here is a image that is in 128 resolution and then it going to 1024. And the other versions being 256 and 512. The higher the number, the better the pack will look, but it all depends on which one your PC can run the best. For this though, I'm gonna be using the 1024 version for the best results. And the other packs, which is the foliage pack, which is all the textures for the trees and other things like that. And nether and end world pack, which I won't be worrying about and the extended pack, which addresses the remaining blocks in the game. And all three of these packs only have two free versions, that being the 128 resolution and 225. The 512 and 1024 are behind a paywall, but 256 is honestly really good. And if you had all four of these in 1024, your computer would just struggle so bad. So with this texture pack, there's a lot here for literally free. This was all just free. The base one is the one that you can test out and test the 1024 resolution, but that at 1024 and the rest at 256 looks just fine, honestly. And if you really want the other versions, it's only $5 a month. So you could just pay, download the versions, get what you need, and then cancel the subscription. And it even comes with other packs that are pretty impressive. So we have our shaders and our texture packs, but what could help even more? One thing I really like with shaders, and like I said before, is the water. And what if the water acted like real water? And that is actually doable in Minecraft with a mod called the physics mod. Now you've probably seen this mod before since it's a crazy mod with just a simple little menu. You can add real waves and water physics to Minecraft with ocean foam and much more. With this insane water that can come out of melons and enchantment tables? Um, 
sure. The fact that it also adds physics to regular blocks, like breaking dirt or blowing it up, looks like this, and breaking into caves, the whole thing can crumble above you, and footsteps add little effects along with it. Real cave physics, and even snow, which this is just sick, and like, look at this, like, this is sick, and so much more. It's honestly insane this mod is free, how much it adds to the game, and how wild it is. It helps really make this feel like another game. And with that mod, we can add a few more, like better sounds, better animations, skin layers, even more sound mods, and much more to create this. The way the weapons shine, the ores, the crystals, the trees, the way the rain hits the ground, the ripples in the water, this really makes the game feel next level. And one thing I can do to make the game not even look like Minecraft is use all this with one extra mod, the No Cubes mod. And with this mod and the shaders and resource pack and other mods, I give you this. At this point, like I said, this doesn't even look like Minecraft, and it's honestly kind of wild exploring the game like this. Going up the mountains, going in caves, and just looking into the horizon. But there is still one more thing. There is a resource pack that with the right shader pack can make this game look next level. And for this, I'm removing the no cubes mod, but I'll briefly show it again. And now let's install it. The resource pack I'm talking about is the Patrick's resource pack. And this pack might be the most realistic and game breaking resource pack out there. It's the only one in this video I had to pay for with you having to subscribe to their Patreon. But once I did that, I got the right shaders with the physics mod and other mods, and I was left with this.
This honestly is wild to look at, and in some angles, it's hard to believe this is Minecraft. And this video really doesn't do it justice, so if you ever can, you, you just gotta play this yourself one day. And with all that, that's where I wanna end it, since this, in my mind, is beautiful. We took a simple little game and turned it into this. But that's the beauty of Minecraft. Minecraft is a game about creativity and expressing yourself and doing what suits you. The base game can be beautiful, and for some, all it really needs is just one shader pack. Maybe the Lego resource pack was beautiful to you. Maybe even the deep fried one who knows the point is no matter what you do to this game it will always be amazing how this game started what it's become all the things you can do to it and all the ways you can capture it and find beauty in it so how beautiful can i make minecraft i don't know since that's really up to anybody that's up to the player and it's up to you to decide since this game's beauty can come in many ways thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed